rules of a period film have been completely broken. Anna Karenina is a story that's been done a lot. What is the point in doing a safe adaptation? Their Excellencies, Minister Karenin and Madame Karenin. The Russian aristocracy at that time were constantly looking to France and trying to emulate that way of being. You did have these people that were pretending to be something that they weren't all the time. I will choose one lady and one gentleman. They were living their lives as if they were on a stage, and this gave me the idea to set the majority of the film in a theater. We are in a world that, that offers itself up as an, an unreal. In fact, it's almost magical and fantastical. So it's always a space that totally changes. We are able to play these strange social games without feeling hindered by a sense of reality. Occasionally, the characters turn their backs on this artificial society, and we see them living a more authentic life in the real world. People love costume dramas, but it's something else. They're going to have a horse race within a theater. Anna Karenina is the story of love in all its many forms. It's a piece that looks at different angles of love and different angles of relationships. I'm sympathetic to all the characters in this story. You need to understand all sides. I was 18 when I got married, but it was not love. Anna is the perfect, dutiful wife. They have a certain place in society, and it's a bolt of lightning from the outside world. And I'd be of service to you. You've known Count Vronsky long. He's a rich cavalry officer. That opens her eyes to another way of living, another way of loving, and another way of being. This is love. Stories like Anna Karenina are studies on the human condition. This film is both modern and classic at exactly the same time. You can't help but recognize yourself. I love you. Why? I can't ask why. About love.